YouTube, what the crap's going on? Heir of Carthage here, back in Total War Attila on the legendary West Rome campaign. And uh, we've got a lot of stuff in process. It is time for me to end a turn, I believe. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where do I... I had a spy. Where was my spy at? Where did we send him? And is this priest... This priest may not be necessary here anymore. I wonder what happens if we pick up this priest and move him. If public order survives around here. I would think it will. We've got solid food here too. We can afford that upgrade because we can also afford to upgrade this. We are we on the edge? We're on the edge for sanitation. So probably that's gonna eat a little more food, but probably a good idea to go ahead and do that. It'll help offset some of the other sanitation stuff that we're gonna create there. I need to upgrade quite a bit of stuff. We really just don't have a lot of growth in this province, and that seems to be hurting me more than anything. Um, okay. And then down here, I'm kind of just... Okay, yeah, the, uh, the Garamantians succeeded in killing the army that was at Machamedes, and that is not a walled settlement. So I could quickly march into Machamedes and then quickly hit Sidemus and kind of pinch the Garamantians to where... Everything they have left will be at Gar, uh, Garama, but they do have quite a few troops. And I'm kind of thinking about taking this army from Patchy Town and marching down to North Africa so that we can better betray the Garamantians. Let's see what they do with this army on this turn end, and we'll get ready to betray the Garamantians. We should still have plenty of protection in Italy. Let's go ahead and end this turn and see what happens. We've got this Anatolius something Ruga, which is a governor. So let's see if we can find some good governor type stuff. Wealth from industrial buildings, immigration, authority plus two in leading an army, campaign movement range, fatigue rate, tax rate in the local province, research for civil development. Uh, let's go with that one. Construction for religious buildings. Don't want the Greek Christianity though. I'm not sure why they even offer that. I'm not sure. Okay, I guess that one's not going to be very helpful. None of this stuff is super helpful. Except for that one will probably be the best. Um, and then what else can we do here? Let's take a look at... Armor for the commander's unit. I mean, that's, that's probably about all we can do. Let's go ahead and go with that one. And the authority research rate faction Y, that'll be handy. We'll start him off with that. So that ought to actually help us a little bit on research rate. How are we doing on research rate? 139%. Not bad considering I haven't really made anything dedicated to it. And remember, I do have a mod where it does, doesn't disable these legacy techs for going through this stuff, which is nice because that's always something that seems to irritate. I know it irritates me. I don't know if it irritates some of you all, but it does me. Let's go ahead and end the turn here. Our struggle Abdonians are still asking for peace, but they want me to pay for it, and absolutely not going to happen. They're going to come attack the province I just took, the one that Sextus just took. That's whatever. Go for it. Sextus will be back. It's all yours. If it makes you happy. We'll be over there to get you soon enough. I have a navy, and I'm going to come try and lock those guys down with that navy. Because if they don't have a good navy, I can basically blockade at Blana and put an end to their little antics. So I think all my ships will be recruited now. I can do that. The Caledonians want peace because they have no way for victory, probably. That would be my guess, at least. Looks like the Visigoths were actually considering going to Africa, kind of like they did in real life there. I humbly ask that my people's warriors may come and go in your lands, so that they may fall upon our joint. You don't need military access. The Saxons are right there. I think they just went through my lands anyway. Ha! <laughs> Check it out. The Swabians are already chasing off the Gallic rebels. They're like, hey man, get away from Argentor tomb. You shall not pass. I like that I like that the Swabier on board 
with my uh, with my you shall not pass mentality here. That's I, I actually really appreciate it. Let's just do an aggressive stance. So yep, the rebels once again shut down, and you shall not pass remains the bastion of the empire. It's like Patchy's summer home is there or something, and the peasants were tasked with just not letting anything happen to the summer home. I wonder what the Thrungians are going to do, if anything. I wonder if they'll attack me. They have a crappy, crappy spear stacks. I can't remember what year Attila comes. Can anybody remind me when he shows up in the campaign? I guess I could Google it real quick here on the turn in. Let's do that. When does... Does Attila... Oh, hang on. What are the Thrungians doing now? They're doubling back the other direction. You would. Bunch of chickens. When does Attila come of age? There we go. Attila comes 100 turns after the game starts. And I think I'm like... What am I, like 60-something turns into this, I think? So he's still a long ways off. If I understand it right. Yeah, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But let's see. So yeah, they sacked the settlement in Britannia. That was the Abdania course. Africa was destroyed. Fantastic. We got wavering loyalty for the same guy. I don't want to blind him, castrate him, or anything else. That's not going to make the situation any better. So I guess I have to forget it. That's kind of annoying. I tried to help you not get killed, but um, since you seem rather insistent on not having your loyalty secured, then I have a feeling that you're going to die rather quickly. This this is the guy who's being very rebellious, and there was some enemy stacks to get him killed on down here, and now I'm not seeing any. Waiting for more orders. Yeah, can we force march him? Uh, we can't attack if we force march him, so unfortunately. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. If he rebels, I guess we'll deal with it, but I'm hoping he doesn't so that I can get him killed. Where's the other guy that... So some of y'all wondered, like, what... good grief, man. What is with the loyalty in all these guys? Why is it so bad? Like, I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding why so many of them are so disloyal. General. General. Getting pretty sick of dealing with this. Pretty really sick of dealing with it. Actually kind of thinking, just for fun. Political action will be resolved at the start of the next turn. It costs 59 influence. Good grief. Strengthening your control. I'm not really worried about the control. Controls measure your mastery of the politics, your power over the elite, its influence. Will your family members engage in political intrigues? Combined with domination, it defines your family's overall power. Power is respectable, so... 702 influence is driving it, so yeah, I'd lose dominion as I do some of this stuff. Let's see what we can do here. First of all, I want to get these guys out of my armies real quick, because this has me irritated. Let's, uh, let's take some of these disloyal guys, like this one. Jeez, he's in the army that I'm marching, for goodness sakes. Let's go ahead and... No, where are you going, you dumb butt? You're crying out loud. Let's see. Let's go and hear the general detail. We're going to kick him. I wish you could see these guys' loyalty over here. Yeah, there it is. Four, three. So none of these guys are worth their weight and crap. So 
Let's just replace him with some newbie. T grade. Morale plus 10 for mercenaries. Morale for steam versus nomadic tribes. That's probably going to be the most likely to be handy, even though not right this moment. Recruitment, missile damage, armor, recruitment cost, upkeep cost for commanded force. That might be handy. Okay. All right. So that'll work for now. We got one of those guys kicked out of his army. So that we know where he's at. Commander. This guy needs to be kicked out of his army as well, so we're going to boot him. Just stick any of these other guys there. I guess morale for mercenaries. I don't know. All this stuff kind of sucks, to be honest. Let's see. Military developments. Okay. Okay. I think he's traveling, which is why it no longer shows where he's at. It says, yeah, because he's a statesman now. That guy, hopefully we're going to get him killed on this turn end. Ready for orders. This guy, I'm going to have to boot him out too. So let's do that. Oh, I did it wrong. Sorry, my bad. Kick him out. And then we have one more here, the Relentless Attacker. And we'll just trade over the... Uh, Civil developments, tax rate in the local province. Campaign spotting chance, I guess, maybe. There we go. So we kicked out a few of the uh, more rebellious commanders. And let's go see what we can do with Sextus on this turn. We have a ton of money to spend, too. There are some rebels that we need to deal with. I hate chasing them all the way down here, though. Freaking stupid dorks run away. This Ebdani hasn't come off its ships, but we can actually recruit cavalry now. Won't be great cavalry, but we'll have cavalry, which is a huge benefit going into combat. Kind of thinking about just letting those rebels go for one more turn. And maybe we can sack a Borakum, because we can auto-resolve this. Plus, that'll give Sextus a little bit of his influence back. How Sextus got his influence back. And while the rebels are going, that should make the public order improve a little quicker in this province. That could be handy. We still could potentially get sacked more. And now the Picts and Caledonians are all up here. But at least I've got kind of a defensive position. Or Hang on, what is this stuff? Smithy? Yeah, tear that crap down. Town center, tear that crap down. We're going to need a forum. And I've got one religious building here. It's not going to hurt to have two. I want to upgrade to the cattle herd so we can build another field here on the next turn. And let's repair the stuff that got whacked in. When we got sacked, we finished our research. In one turn, we can spend 10,000 and finish it. We get plus one. Influence the state religion, which is certainly not going to hurt. And then I'm thinking at that point we may want to get to this highest level sheep barn and cattle farm. Actually, probably thinking, holy crap, that's 23 turns. Woo! No thanks. 17 turns to get to the Comez General. Let's do that so I can get through this. I need to see some of these other... Because I want to get to some of these higher tech level military units. Magister Militum. Enables the building of Royal Academy. Siege Workshop. Master Weaponsmith. Skirmisher Compound and Military Port. Cavalry Compound and Infantry Compound could be handy too. Yeah, that's the one we want to do. Alright, so I think we got that set. No reason not to upgrade there. 
Let's just kind of consider everything else I have to do. I got quite a bit of money to spend. The Throngians took off running from me, and I can't catch them on their current course, unfortunately. Let's see. This turn, we should also be able to get rid of a couple of these. Matiari. Okay, start training those. Got the cavalry still finishing here. We can now upgrade our wheat farms to the highest level, which certainly isn't going to hurt. It's going to give us quite a bit of extra food, and we should be able to... We can already handle the upgrades from these. Just go ahead and start upgrading stuff there. Because why not? A little maintenance cost never hurt anybody there. Let's see. I wonder if this priest... He's gained quite a bit of level here. Inspire troops. This might not hurt. Of course, he's not around any troops, but we might want to use him for that eventually. Boy, I've had to work really hard to stabilize these uh, provinces out here. Though, since I can build... Uh, has the food here. Food consumption is a little bit higher than I'd like for it to be, but I don't need this military building anymore. Lusitania ought to be a pretty fertile province, so let's go build. Let's build like a tabernacle chain building here. And if I remember, well, okay, I've used up my money, so that's good that we've used up the money. Don't want to attack the Abdonians yet. Sextus should be safe for now. This navy, I want to move it around here and come see if we can put an end to some of these transport fleets. So we've got them moving around. That does leave this settlement somewhat open to... Um, a rebel attack, but we've got some defensibility there, so I'm not super worried about it. Let's go with that for now. Okay. This priest is spreading influence. And we've gone as far as we can go on this turn. Let's see what happens at this point. Okay, the Abdonians are going to come back to try and finish the job on this place that they recently sacked. I hope they don't raise it. They very well could. If they raise it, it's going to be annoying because I have to spend a lot of time building it back up. But I could use that priest down in Britannia Superior to help. But it looks like they've just sacked it again and run off, which is kind of pointless. But it's fine with me as long as they're not being effective. The Abdonians really just kind of being very indecisive down in Britannia Superior because they don't want to face Appius. I think that we'll go... Wow, that is so many enemy troops all there and it's so tempting to attack it with Sextus because that would give him like such a great victory, but if he gets killed, that would be so sad. I wonder if Appius can reach reinforcement range and we can pin all those troops right up there on the... Uh, right up on the coast. Okay, good. I'm hoping that this army here is about to get attacked so that the uh, general can meet with an unfortunate incident. There's a priest already over there like demoralizing the troops or something for the Visigoths. Oh, really? Finally interested in an alliance, are you? Accepted. It's about time, you jerks. How long have I been asking you? Who are you at war with? They're at war with me, basically, and no one else. And they trade with the Alamans and stuff, so yeah, we'll give them a peace treaty, but I'm going to ask them for some money. Add a demand payment. Demand payment. They don't want to give me 1300 but maybe we can get like a 1000 out of them or something. Not like I really need a ton of money, but I want these guys to realize that you don't get it for free. Or maybe they do, I guess. Because they're acting like they're not sure they'll take these demands. 
Okay, look. You either give me some money or you don't get the piece. There you go. Not dealing with that for too long. All right, these turn ins quite long. Love to see a few more of these factions get wiped out. Certainly doing my yeah. This is what I wanted right here. Perfect, 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 perfect. That is so many axes, so many spears, and the spears do not scare me. The axes, a little bit concerning. But uh, we have some Gallic equites and some other stuff that are going to be really helpful and a pretty strong army here. To be quite honest, we should be. Getting my general killed, I really do want to. But if I get him killed too early, it's going to hurt the morale of my men, too. So let's just uh, see what we can do here. Let's fight this battle. Could corner camp these guys pretty good, I think. Elite Palatina and Shield Wall would be pretty decimating. They're going to have like a 70 something attack and 60 damage versus infantry. That'd be pretty insane. And then I wouldn't have to worry about getting charged by cavalry or anything else. But if I corner camp, then I can't use their javelins, which is unfortunate as well. Sitting here trying to think. kind of got this nice little hill possession we could set up kind of a defensive kind of a defensive box on this hill Okay, and in terms of cavalry, thinking about kind of hiding it down here. Yeah, that should be good. Though it may not be a bad idea to hide. Let's hide the slower cavalry up higher on the hill. Just get him over here into these woods. Let's just kind of watch for where enemy reinforcements are going to come. I didn't quite catch all of it. This will give us the hill position. It will allow my guys a chance to throw their javelins and to maybe potentially get counter charges and stuff on enemy troops, though it does leave us with the possibility of being surrounded, which I'm not a huge fan of, so I probably am just going to go ahead and straight box this so that the AI really doesn't have a way to get around me, and it'll create a safe zone. I will try and get my general killed, but I'm going to try and wait for the most appropriate time Okay, those Onager are coming on in the back of the battlefield. I don't want the Onager to get within range, so I'll just kind of keep an eye on him. AI is probably going to try and put all of its troops together before doing anything. We might be able to kind of... Withdrawing some of our troops may be prudent. Might be able to kind of move along this side of the map and keep our guys hidden with the terrain. No, nope, they're already visible. I don't know what enemy units can see them. I mean, the terrain doesn't really seem to favor enemy that, but... Approaches. I want to try and get in behind those Onager from over here. See how the terrain dips down back here? I think we can use that to move in our guys unseen. So we'll try and be sneaky sneaky. These troops are kind of at risk of being exposed, so let's kind of move back down onto the back side of this hill. A lot of crappy enemy spears, but like I said, there were also quite a lot of... There were quite a lot of enemy axes as well. Okay. As the enemy army moves forward, they typically leave their Onager behind. And that'll be the striking point for my... Gallic Equites who are now sitting on the back of this hill. Okay, just going to let the fast forward go at this point. Looks like the AI though really is trying to get completely together. Okay. 
wonder how much cavalry the enemy had. Thinking about doing something like this. Putting more units out here on the flanks and just kind of spreading these guys a little bit thinner to cover from cavalry attacks. There we go. I like that a little better. Alright, AI, you attacked me, so let's get moving. Oh yeah, look at all these second line axes. Definitely need my uh, Gallic Equites alive in order to deal with those guys. Germanic crossbowmen concern me as well. My elite Ballistari are going to have to get the opportunity to kill them. There's pikes. Pikes, not a huge concern to me, but definitely do want them dead. Let's kind of move up into this forest, and we'll try and get in behind those Onager. Actually, my Maori Equites are probably going to be a better bet to get to the Onager. Maybe. I don't know. They have to run a lot further uphill, but they do have the rapid advance. Okay, let's go ahead and hit plate. The uh, enemy crossbowmen are already taking pretty sturdy damage. Enemy's already targeting my general, huh? Okay, let's get behind our guys here because enemy approaches. Taking some pretty hefty damage there from some of those guys. Okay, the javelins from my elite Palatina are real. I want to get a charge with my elite Palatina because they have a very nice charge bonus. Okay, let's get their Onager. Okay, let's use our crossbows to try and murder some of the remaining crossbows. Their first line of infantry has gotten pretty wrecked by my elite Palatina. Okay, it's very important that I get my general killed, so I'm going to pull him out here and see if I can get him killed. Okay, elite Ballastari, there's your target. You two target this crossbow. Get them off the field, please. Reform. Okay, they got Equites coming up my flank, but should be okay. I'm going to send this general down here to engage these units singularly. Let's get on the flank of these pikes. Okay, we've driven off most of their crossbows. Let's hit those skirmishers. We're going to get charged uphill by a mounted warband. It's going to do some pretty solid damage, but it's also going to get hit by a fair number of javelins. Okay, Gallic Equites, I'm going to need you over here quicker. Let's get my guys up here. Okay, my general's going to get wrecked. Still trying to make sure that enemy crossbows kick the bucket. Let's bring down some more infantry reinforcements. Okay, we are about to get hit by the second wave here. The second wave may overwhelm us because my cavalry are too far away and these guys have gotten caught. Just get out of there. Okay, Gallic Equites, please hurry. Same thing here. Okay, charge them right in the back here, please. Don't know if this is going to work. I think I may have overextended here. We're just going to get we're just going to get eaten alive by enemy infantry. Let's bring in more infantry just to hold these guys for as long as we can. Okay, again, just get in here and hold. Okay, start killing these units that are trying to get through. Holy crap, Gallic Equites, you can't get here fast enough. Yeah, we're going to lose this whole army, which I had hoped to avoid, but it's not going to be the end of the world, really. How did I lose so many Gallic Equites? Let's charge these axes in the back right here. I, that could hurt the morale of my men fairly bad. I don't really know at this point. I think these mercenary Germanic Warband are turning around trying to charge me, so I'm going to charge them. 
And we're about to get intercepted over here, so let's get into the charge as quick as we can. I need to do as much damage to these infantry as we can. Crossbows don't have any protection against the enemy cavalry here. Or the enemy infantry. Yeah, we're going to get overwhelmed. Oh well, it was interesting. Uh, our... Our elite uh, Palatina did very well, but it's just overwhelming numbers here. Because remember, the AI gets buffs on every charge bonus, and every little mistake you make, they're going to make you feel it. Yeah, now we have nowhere to kite with these crossbows. We can try and get rid of their cavalry, but it's not going to work. We did manage to get a lot of kills with these Gallic Equites in the end, which was okay. But yeah, oh well, we got the general kill, then we made, we made it look real, so... This one didn't look like it was such a setup from Patchy, but we can retrain that army in a few turns too, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Now, we took a lot of them with us. That was a two to one scenario at least still. A lot of my elite Palatina definitely got some kills. Only a couple of them performing poorly, and my elite Bellastari got a fair number of kills too. Regroup and fall back. Oh. Supplies. I mean, I charged, and I, I feel pretty... Uh, I don't know. Maybe the shield wall would have been better. I mean... My guys do have good charge, but the AI also gets a lot of charge bonuses, so maybe it would have just been better in the end to just uh, shield wall. I don't know. That's a good thing. We'll have to try it next time and see what happens. But like I said, we got the rebellious guy killed, so not the end of the world there. It was fun. Go over and see what the AI has there. and Like I said, maybe it's teaching me some lessons here. I think that uh, even though those units were crappy and I expect my elite Palatina to do well, I'm probably overestimating their capability because of being on the legendary thing, and that'll just remind me that probably should have been in shield wall for those engagements would have braced my men better it would have given more entity mass and shield defense and then it also would have given them extra attack and damage versus their enemies so that probably would have been the right way to go the Thrungians are attacking shall not pass and they have come in very large numbers so this will be the next episode shall not pass has to live up to its name did they ever fix the map whenever I upgraded the settlement for goodness sakes let's hope so no, no, it's still the same crappy Colosseum map, so fantastic. Got all these archers and no good place to use them at. That is absolutely irritating. I wonder if I sally forth in corner camp, if I would probably be better off, potentially. But whatever, we're going to save this for next time. Air of Carthage, signing.